If you want to know what God is saying to his churches, keep watching. It's the wake up call. Hi, I'm Martin Van Vieren from Raising Foundations, where we are catalyzing a generation of faith, a revival generation. Today, we're talking about waking up where God is calling us out of the comfort of our churches into his harvest field to become doers of the word. So we're going to look at what is God saying to us? What has God called us to? What is the works he's prepared for us to do? And more importantly, how will we respond? What will we do about it? It's going to be a challenging one. About four years ago, God woke me up one morning and said, I'm taking you off life support. And my initial thought was, what does that mean? I didn't even know that I was on life support. And I found God unplugging me from my Sunday to Sunday existence, where I'd go to church, I'd get my fix, my intravenous feed, my meal prepared by the efforts and services of others, that required nothing of me to consume or absorb it. I just had to turn up like a baby ready for my milk. And then on a Wednesday or a Thursday group, I'd have a little top up to, to get me through the week. Then God began to challenge me and ask me this question. When are you going to begin to do the things that I have asked of you? Now, the funny thing is up to that point, I thought I was doing what God had asked of me. I spent 17 years going to church, serving in every capacity, doing all the churchy things from teas and coffees and setting up the PA, cleaning toilets, leading small groups and Bible studies. So this question really knocked me back. And I can't honestly say that in all that time and with everything that I had learned and did, that I led one single person to Jesus or hand on heart that I knew of one person that was still following God or following Jesus. I found I was a man who loved knowledge, always learning, always hearing, always listening, but never coming to the truth, never becoming a doer of the word. And I had to stop all my meetings and my gatherings, the things I was listening to or learning from. And I had to turn aside like Moses turned aside to see why the bush kept burning, but was never consumed. And I had an encounter with the living God that changed the very fiber of my being and the purpose of my existence. I fasted for 20 days and revisited everything that God had said to me from the very beginning. All the scriptures, the words, the prophecies that I'd received to find out what was God asking of me. And like for every one of us, Ephesians 2.10, what is the good works which God prepared in advance for us to do and that we will stand accountable to him for? Brothers and sisters, the commission that God has given to us as Christians has not changed. The gospel message was birthed in the blood and sacrifices of Jesus and has been passed down in that way in the blood and sacrifices of the saints from generation to generation and has now come to us. And the commission is this, go into all the world and preach the gospel to everyone with signs following in Matthew 28. Go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them and teaching them. And lo, I am with you. If you think this is only the work of the evangelist, it's, it's not. The evangelist is part of the fivefold ministry. And together with the apostle, the teacher, the preacher and the pastor, the function of the fivefold is to equip you, the saints, for the work of ministry. We all have been commissioned to, to go. During my wake up call, God showed me a vision where I was standing in the outer core, court of the temple where the Gentiles um, meet and the walls were crumbling and the floors were scattered with debris. And in the middle of the debris on the floor was a shriveled up Coke can. And I understood that God does not dwell in buildings and the spirit yearns to break out, to go to the highways and the byways and the low places and the deserts and the streets to the hurting, the broken, to the tormented and to those that will never set foot in our churches. And the message we are taking is not the quick fix, the high sugar drink preached in our Western churches that never satisfies. The message is the gospel of Jesus Christ, the person, Jesus, the living water that satisfies the souls of men. 
And here we are. We can't meet in our buildings. We can't gather on our mountaintops with our beautiful music and our beautiful sermons and ev where everything is just perfect. We have a decision to make. God has called us to deny ourselves, pick up our cross and follow him. And it's not about being busy and just doing stuff. It's about hearing what God has asked of us and fulfilling what he has called us to do. Whether you've been given 10 talents or five or just the one, Let's pray. I pray the Lord of the harvest send out, which is means to throw out with force because we don't want to go. We like meeting, we like gathering. Lord, I pray that you send out workers, laborers into your harvest because the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. May the lamb who was slain receive the reward of his suffering. You've got a decision to make. Will you labor with Jesus? and share in his harvest? Or are you just waiting to get back into the building, back to the way things used to be? We are his body, his hands, his feet, his voice. Let's do this. This is the wake up call. If this video has challenged you, I'm gonna ask you to write revival in the comments below. Raising Foundation is a Christian charity you can check us out at raisingfoundations.org or follow us on Facebook or Twitter. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, uh, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.